Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first one, select this background layer and look here. Then go to shape layers, hold this icon, select this ellipse tool and go to here, hold shift, make one ellipse. And Clisation tool. Let's zoom to here, move to right, and change stroke width. Then go to stroke color, select this eyedropper, select this color, click OK. So if you want to make circle like this, go to fill, click here, and select none for close inside color, click OK. OK, so let's move to here, and let's select this shape layer. Hold Ctrl, double click pen behind the icon for move the anchor point center and let's also move to down this anchor point and Clisation tool and change name circle ok and move to here so select these all layers and height let's enable only example and lock layer so select this circle and let's again go to pen behind, move the anchor point full down and Clisation tool, move the down a little bit. Let's press S, open scale and click this icon, make scale keyframe and go to 10 keyframes. For shortcut you can use hold shift, press page down in keyboard and change scale like this. Okay, and Go to 10 keyframes again, change scale 150 or 140 and let's see. Okay, select keyframes, make easies and go to some keyframes, make new scale keyframe, go to some keyframes again, change 100%. Okay, so right now let's hold shift press P and make new person in keyframe and go to here. Let's move to up and go to again 10 keyframes. Select first keyframe, copy pass and select these keyframes, make easy or click F9. Go to graph editor, let's zoom to graph and select this middle keyframe, move to left and select this, move to right for falling ball animation. Let's change these graphs like this, let's see ok so back to two frames and select these three person two frames hold alt move to left for long jump animation, let's see ok and select these person two frames move to right a little bit ok that's good so in this time, go to here and let's go to next scale keyframe, change scale like this. Okay, and here change this scale 100%. Nice, very good. So in this time, go to here and right now let's enable phone layer. Let's enable here and select this phone, move to up and go to pen behind, move the anchor point down and Clisation tool, let's select this phone, link to circle, let's see ok so right now go to here, in this time select this circle and go to edit, split layer or ctrl shift d, delete and select this phone layer, let's move to up here and move to right Ok, so select this last position keyframe for circle and let's move to up here, let's zoom to layer and go to 3 keyframes, 1, 2, 3, let's move to up a little bit go to 3 keyframes again, 1, 2, 3, select this keyframe, copy pass for bones animation, let's see Ok, we have problem with last keyframes, let's select the last three keyframes, right mouse and go to keyframe interpolation, 
change current setting to linear. Click OK. Let's say again. Okay, that's good. So right now let's go to here and change circle like this and here for morphing animation. Let's change a little bit for one keyframe. Okay, so let's select this circle, hold shift, press air, open rotation, and in this time make rotation keyframe, go to here, chain rotation 25 or 10 and go to here change minus 2 and next few frame change 1 and here 0 select rotation two frames make easy let's see okay not bad and let's Go to window, open animation composite 3, open starter precoms, shape elements, and let's use particle firework. Let's click add and close composition. Right now, let's use particle for fake morphing. Okay, let's select these particles. Let's link to circle. Move to left a little bit. Okay, not bad. And select this form. Let's press S, open scale, and go to here, make scale keyframe, go to back, and change scale. Change. 25 okay let's we can try change scale like this okay select these sketch frames make easy and let's move to left Okay, select this circle, move to behind phone. Okay, not bad. I like it. So, we can enable circle motion blur here and mobile. Nice, very good. So let's close two frames and select this bank layer, let's enable, move to up here for form and move to right, let's press S, open scale and let's go to solo, again pen behind and move to anchor point down, Clusation tool, right now let's click this icon, make scale two frame, change scale zero, go to 10 two frames, change scale 120, or 125 go to 10 two frames change 90 again go 10 two frames change 105 again go to 10 two frames change 100 percent so there are more two frames for bones animation so escape two frames make easy let's see okay not bad and right now let's go to here and change scale like this go to back and change scale here, move to left, let's see. Okay, let's select this scale, move to left. Okay, that's good. Select last few frames, move to left for more fast animation. Okay, so let's unsolo these layers. And select this bank, move to down. And link to phone layer and move to left let's see okay not bad so in this time select this coin enable layer and move to right let's press p and go to here first keyframe make new passing keyframe move to down 
and go to some Q frames, move to up. Go to 10 Q frames, move to down, and again 10 Q frames, move to up, and again move to down, and again move to up for center. Select Q frames, make easies, and move to left. Let's see. Okay, we have again problem with Q frame interpolation. Select all Q frames. Right mouse, go to keyframe interpolation, change auto bezier to linear, click OK, let's see. Okay, so select last keyframes, move to left and go to graph editor, select this graph, move to right. Or move to left a little bit and this move to left. Nice. And back to keyframes. Select is money one enable and money two and select these two money layers move to here and let's press P Go to here make new person Q frame and go to back Move to down like this So go to here go to middle and move to left and change curves and select this money two layer move to left also change curves and select Q frames make easies let's select work area okay so for remove these still Q frames hold control double click left mouse for this middle Q frames let's say again nice and select this money two move to right Okay, select Q frames, hold Alt, move to left. Nice, and in this time select this money one, hold Shift, press Air, open rotation, and make rotation Q frame, chain rotation, and go to here, change like this, change zero. And select this middle Q frame with chain rotation like this for minus 25. Okay, select rotation, make easies, and select this minus 2, go to here, and hold shift, press air, open rotation, make rotation Q frame, change minus 26, and go to here, change 12. Or let's change like this and go to next keyframe, frame change 0 and select rotation keyframes, frames make easy okay nice so close these keyframes frames and let's do timing select this coin move to left and money layers move to left Okay, finally select these card layers, enable, and let's select these cards, move to right, and press P, go to here, make new passing keyframe, I will make some way for card layers, go to here, and move to left, and go to middle, select this middle keyframe, change curves, and this, move to here, change also curves make Q frames easy and for middle Q frame again hold control double click and this double click and move to right okay not bad and also rotation select this cart one hold shift press R make rotation Q frame change minus 25 and go to here change zero Let's try to change this 45. Okay, let's move to right. And select this card to go to here. Hold shift, press R, make rotation keyframe, change. Chain 20 or 35. Go to here. 
chain like this and go to here, change zero. So the keyframes make easy. Okay, so select these card layers and move to left. So right now let's select this example, go to solo and go to shape layers. Again, let's create ellipse tool, hold shift, make one ellipse. Let's see, okay, size is good and go to stroke, chain stroke with zero, open fill, select white color, click OK. Hold control, double kill pen behind icon for move tanker point center, clearization tool, go to window, open animation computer 3 and start a preset and 2d layer and let's use overshot scale and click in close compensation move right this mark for slow animation let's put here okay move to right more nice and let's control d for duplicate move to here next shape layer and control d again move to here then delete example on solo layers let's see okay select these shape layers move to behind all layers okay and shape layer 2 Okay, nice. Let's select this middle layer. Move to here. Okay, that's good. I like it. So let's select these shape layers and go to stroke, chain stroke 10. Okay, that's good. So let's again full animation. Okay, nice. And finally, let's go to Pen Tool and hold Shift, make one line, Clearization Tool, and move to here, and go to Add. Let's use Team Pads. Open here, and move to write this shape layer. Change and zero. Make in keyframe. Go to here. Change 100%. So the keyframes make easy. Go to graph editor, make smooth graph. Back to keyframes and close settings. And let's see timing. Move to left. Okay, let's press U for C keyframes. Move to left these keyframes for fast line animation. Okay, I like it. And for smooth start and end lines, let's open inside and stroke one, change bed cup to round cup for smooth line. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.